Hi, Gemini. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your three-month love forecast for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is for the month of June, July, and August. Okay? This is a general reading. It's just a quick snapshot. I may continue to do the monthly each month, but I'm not exactly sure. I have... Um, a very hectic schedule coming up for the summer and I just wanted to try to get this out for you guys for now um, sorry if you can hear the sirens <laughs> I have my door open and there's a huge thunderstorm coming so I really wanted to listen to it um, but of course no we're getting traffic and sirens okay so your cards have been shuffled and they were already placed so I'm going to pull an angel oracle romance from the romance angels deck just to see what your advice for love is for the next three months of June July and August 2018 I can never get my cards to just pop out like everyone else okay forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so I'll read that card to you I kind of feel like I just heard someone saying I'm not forgiving that person <laughs> um, so the romance angels have heard your desire for great love and they bring you this card as guidance they see that your heart can give and receive the bliss of romance by clearing away the cobwebs of the past the angels know that you've been hurt before and that you're wary of being hurt again. Yet your defenses are creating barriers to, to allowing love into your life. As you heal your past, you won't keep recreating it. After all, you attract into your life the situations and relationships that remind you of what you've already experienced because that is the primary tool of healing. To change to a healthier relationship pattern, it's necessary to detoxify any old anger, blame, or unforgiveness you may be holding. This includes forgiving yourself. So if you call upon the angels and ask them to help you release the, and heal your past, they'll clear away the heaviness so that your heart can soar with happiness. So when I was shuffling your cards, Gemini, um, and I was looking at them and trying to pick up the messages for your, for your, your reading, I was sensing that the word infiltration or invasion happening during this time period. And so let me get started with the month of June. I see you, your energy here with the Queen of Swords, male or female, if you are male, uh, Gemini listening. Your energy here is you are very much in your element you are I don't know what you were doing in your past but I just see you kind of like in this place now where y you're like back on track if that makes any sense whatever whatever feeling you may have had where maybe you had um, a feeling of instability or things just not where you wanted them to be I'm seeing June being this time for you where you're just back in your element. You're back being that person <laughs> that you are. Um, the Queen of Swords, she's very logical. And he or she. So as far as the description for both male and female, um, the Queen of Swords, air sign energy, is very self-sufficient, Very is truth-telling, Someone who is powerful, intentional, quick, a quick acting, thoughtful leader. So I just see your energy being absolutely in this way. And I see you being very focused on your independence and, and your financial independence. Career is playing a huge role for you in June. Uh, to the point where there will be, I, I feel like you're, you're doing a lot of communicating in the month of June. I'm not seeing much in the way of love being 
top on your list, and I know this is a love reading, but I'm just going to read the cards the way I see them. I'm not seeing love being the priority. Not that you aren't interested in love if you're single or if you are with someone. I kind of feel like what's happening with you is you're focused on your luxuries, financial gain, solo pleasures. Some of you may just be feeling quite stable in a relationship and there are no worries in that area or just stable in your life. If you're single, there are no worries. You are quite focused on your independence. Okay. So with the page of wands, this tells me that you know, there's a lot of energy happening here. I feel like there's, you're very active. You feel very energetic. Maybe there's a, a new career or a new project or you have a new idea. And <clears throat> you could be learning something new as well that could be propelling you forward in your work situation or career situation, whatever is going on, whatever you've been doing, the month of June has you, uh, I see a lot of messages back and forth that have to do with you sustaining and growing and building your, um, your foundation for uh, stability whether that has to do with money or a relationship or a marriage or your spiritual self. What, I'm just sensing a lot of stability, being back in your element. Now, it's funny because it's like as soon as you get to this place where I'm seeing that you are, this is where the infiltration and invasion comes. I'm sensing that there's someone who is going to who I feel like in July someone's watching you, uh, admiring you from a distance, and I feel there's a chance that there's going to be someone who breaks, tries to break, not break in your home, not going there, but someone who's trying to infiltrate your relationship or your life in some way. Okay, so if you are currently in a relationship or partnership with someone, marriage, whatever it may be, be careful of someone coming through who has this player type energy, because I feel like this person, it wants to try to disrupt in the month of July, uh, your stability, okay, whether that's your work life, your, your relationship, your marriage, your spiritual foundation, there's someone coming in who this person is lusty, free-spirited, they're very passionate, they travel a lot, uh, they are very full of creativity, um, but I feel like because of the Page of Swords here, this energy is this person, kind of gossipy, uh, might reveal some truths to someone, to a partner, or to someone about a marriage or a connection. So if there are any of you who are in third-party affairs, uh, be wary of someone else exposing this. Or if there is, uh, I don't feel for you that this is about your partner who is messing around or having um, an affair. I don't feel it's that because I don't feel like what's coming out is truthful because of the page of swords. The page of swords is like gossip. Okay, so you, you'll want to just keep your eye open in July for this person who comes in. Um, the Knight of Wands there's always someone who is kind of like a player, someone who just comes in and comes out. And for some of you, I feel like this is someone that you know. This could be a fire sign. It could be a Leo. It could be a Taurus. Yes, but just be careful of this energy that comes through in August or in July for you. Um, somebody could also be exposing something that happened in the past before you were with your partner. They could be using this as leverage to disrupt a partnership or disrupt you from being 
imbalance. So I'm sensing a lot of, um, there's someone who's very curious that's around you. And I feel like this someone is spying or watching you on social media, or you're close to this person. Physically, you see them now and again. Uh, this could be someone who is a friend, but they actually have a secret admiration for you. There could be jealousy. This person might be envious of your relationship or your the foundation stability that you have in your life. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're going to start spreading some gossip and, and lies and rumors. So the good news is that when August rolls around, you are realizing you're so above this person and you are so above this energy that this person is trying to put out. Your relationship or your life if you're single, is untouchable. For those of you who are in a partnership, it's true, it's strong, and no one can break through, and you realize this, okay? Because the Hierophant is, is all about, you know, tradition and, uh, traditions. You're, you're very stick to it with the person that you're with. Um, you hold them with high regard and high respect, both of you, to each other. And you both kind of are aware of what's going on around you, and you just sort of look down. You stay positive about your partnership. If you're single, you're positive about your life. You maintain that. And with the world card here, I, I just really feel like you're like, oh, you just kind of like close your close the book on whatever these lies are, whatever these things that are being said. Someone I feel like is also just jealous of your success as well. The way this lines up here. But you realize and you know that everything you have has come to you because of your effort and your work and you deserve it. And nothing is, no one or no thing is going to be able to destroy that within you because you, you have the world at your feet here. And so also, as I was saying, a lot of this gossip and, and things that are being said uh, are definitely internet related on social media and things like that because the world can sometimes represent the World Wide Web. Um, I just kind of get a sense that <laughs> you're good where you are. You are absolutely good. And the person that you are with is very supportive of you. And they're aware of who this person is, especially if this is someone from your past who's trying to come back into your life. But you had moved on and got on with things. Um, or it, even if you weren't involved with this person, you know, they're just, I feel like there's jealousy, and they want to just kind of find a way to wreck things. But it's very petty, because a page of swords, a page is, is childish. It's not, it's not like it's a tower card where there's just major destruction. This person is petty, and you're above that. And so the things that they say, and the things that they do, and the things that they see, some of you may need to, you know, um, try to go as private as you can on social media, block certain people from contacting you. Um, you know, you may need to go that route if, if, if it's just, it's getting to be, if, if it gets to be too much, you will. Um, some of you may not have the ability to do that, so you just have to overlook the energy. Your, the situation, you're remaining positive with the sun. There's, you've made the right decision. You know where you are in your life. You're feeling quite confident. You have material happiness, everything. Uh, there's always a, there's a joyous outcome for you, regardless of the things that could be happening. Um, whoever these people are, this could be just someone in your family in July who is jealous or, um, you know, not happy with 
how you're getting on with your life and how you're you're becoming so successful. I feel like there's, you know, that could be someone, uh, it could be a family member or a friend. You just have to really watch out for the energy in July. You know, even if this isn't an ex or a sexual partner or someone from your past or, you know, again, it's just someone who is so carefree with the way they are that they honestly don't care. Um, they're so free-spirited. They just come in and come out. They just come in, they destroy, and they go out. And this person really has no sense of responsibility as the knight is. He just gets on his horse and goes. And he, you know... The, you know, he just goes. He doesn't stop and look around him and, and become thoughtful and think about the things that he's saying or what he's doing, he or she. This is just an energy of this person who's just careless and doesn't really care. But I feel like you're going to be, you know, this this the months of June, July, and August are going to be a little bit tough. This forgiving and learning card, I feel like some of you are going to have to really just take a look at this person or whoever this person may be try to understand in some way for yourself this person does not know they are so low level and they are just not where you are and it's kind of like you have to take pity on them in a sense just kind of shake your head and say well lesson learned about this person they've shown their true colors if you want to forgive them or not that's up to you um, for them behaving the way that they do. But I feel like releasing and letting this person go is really the way to handle this situation because then you experience that positivity and that joyousness and that love that you currently have or that just f that beautiful foundation you've created for yourself. It keeps you staying on track. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear the rain. It sounds so pretty. So I'm going to end your reading here. Um, I know these are short. If you want to get a quick reading from me or um, a personal video reading, all the links and descriptions, everything you need to know is in the description box below. So I hope that you have a wonderful June, July, and August, Gemini, and I will talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.